You know, I was capable of throwing it all away, very capable. You know, by giving me the opportunity, by kicking me in the pants, by making me get back into school, he basically saved me for myself. Nothing but praise from football legend Ken Stabler as he reflects on Coach Paul Bear Bryant. But tonight, we're reflecting on the legacy the Alabama legend has left behind. And welcome into the news at 10. I'm Jabari Pruitt, and tonight for Tamika Alexander. Well, first at 10, a look back at the life of former Crimson Tide and Oakland's Raiders quarterback, Kenny Stabler, also known as the Snake. WVUA 23's Yostina Banoob joins us live tonight from the studio with more. Yostina. Jabari, in a statement released by his family, Kenny Stabler was battling stage 4 colon cancer when he passed away Wednesday. And now we take a look back at his memories that he leaves behind. Kenny Stabler, also known as the Snake, loved by many because of his vibrant and welcoming personality. Former Crimson Tide Sports Network analyst Tom Roberts refers to him as the most accessible star the University of Alabama's had. Everybody wanted Kenny's autograph, and he gave his autograph to everybody. Uh, he was a guy that just would not say no. Uh, Bama fans and Tennessee fans and Auburn fans and USC fans. You know, I was capable of throwing it all away, very capable. You know, by giving me the opportunity, by kicking me in the pants, by making me get back into school, he basically saved me for myself. But on game day, he was ready. He was there and ready to play, and played so very, very well. Stabler got the nickname, The Snake, because of his work on the field. A rough, tough character uh, on the field, could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Tide 991 radio host Chris Stewart had the opportunity to work with Stabler on the Crimson Tide Sports Network. Stewart says Stabler knew how to make you feel comfortable. And an incredible knack of making you feel at ease, making you feel welcome. So many people gravitated towards Stake, and, and he enjoyed people and appreciated the fact that they wanted some time with him. After college, Stabler went on to play for the Oakland Raiders in the NFL, and his last stop was with the Saints. When he was finishing up his career in New Orleans uh, with a team that did not have a great roster, he was able to make them competitive at a level they never really had been before. While his on-the-field plays are iconic, Stewart hopes everyone remembers Stabler for his wonderful personality. I hope he's remembered as a, uh, as a guy that I knew, which is a very generous, gentle, uh, sweetheart of a guy who uh, was an incredible player, an incredible character, but also an incredible amount of fun to be around. At Stabler's request, his brain and spinal cord have been donated to Boston University to support research in degenerative brain disease for athletes. Reporting live in the studio, Yostina Banup, WVUA 23 News.